Hello and welcome to this video playing Savelyev. Savelyev. Okay. Got this gambit opening. Hmm. I normally go knight c6, but let's do this. I mean, I have to. Hmm. I need to check this anyhow, so I can might as well give this a shot. I know that this is a good line against this, but I haven't studied it yet. So, yeah, I'm happy with this pawn structure. Now we've got, why does he trade? <laughs> a bit surprised. I mean, deck take here, pawn takes is quite obviously uh, nice for black. I could have taken myself, but maybe he really wants to take, as long as I don't take, I mean, he cannot move the knight. So, And I have knight b6 potentially. Yeah, this is why he played bishop b3 to have c4. Okay, but how do I continue from here? Okay, again, this is very welcome. Hmm. Okay. Always like those knight outposts, completely unassailable on c5. Cannot challenge the knight at all. Um, okay. Very tempted to play knight to e4. Yeah. It's got such a weird piece placement there with a knight on a3 and so on. That does look completely wrong. Can maybe like knight b5 to d4? I don't know. Yeah, okay, so bishop f5 is definitely fine. Just like even knight g5 comes into consideration, playing for, for a kingside attack. pieces are so odd here but this is simple and good of course like queen g5 is certainly not bad but yeah I don't want to trade so easily here um, yeah, rook f1 queen g6 for example And if I move the bishop, knight e4 is an immediate threat. Okay, so here queen g6, f3. I also have bishop d3. This is a simple um, positional solution. I wonder. Maybe this is actually too soft, but okay. It leads to a position where you can, with black, um, yeah, grind forever and ever and ever and ever. You can even, no, almost. <laughs> 94, yeah, 94 to win the pawn, but it's probably a bit greedy. Um, so, what to do? End games are nice. That that much I know. Maybe Queen G five here. Yeah. I don't think F four is high on his wish list. Yeah, 
that's a very nice ending. The only question is, is it just nice or <laughs> is, it, uh, is it more like where you can can win. The obvious target is the C pawn, rook C8, and then trying to move the knight. Okay. So now my threat is A6, bishop back, knight A4. Okay. I wonder if this is even best, to be honest. It's probably better to start with b5 in this position. Yeah, this outside passer is very nice to have. I don't have a passer yet, I'm sorry. That wasn't a very precise way of putting it, but I'm, I'm getting there. Um, f5, 4, f4. It's not necessary. This is, this is the easiest, I think, to take. <coughs> okay, b3, a takes b, a2, touchdown. Yeah, so let's have a look. I mean, the way it unfolded, that was a nice position, I think. Um, here, black has a couple of moves. Um, the easiest move to play for most people is knight c6, as you transpose into a, a very satisfactory position from the Italian two knights. Like Usually it comes from um, this position um, you get from here. Yeah. Um, you can also take on e4, but that is after queen d4 really, uh, really hard to play. White has excellent development. It's something that you should rather know very well or don't um, allow with black. And this is a third option that I think is also fine. Takes, pawn takes, and now this d5 move returns a pawn and gets this. Um, very reasonable structure and this pawn structure is not very attractive for white and in the game that was a showcase for what white probably should not allow we played this in a really yeah bit of a slow fashion and this is really really comfortable i have those excellent knight posts and they're very stable they attack things and um the bishop here looks extremely stupid I'm sorry, that was the wrong button. Yeah, and here it's just very, very comfortable. Okay, so I had wins here. I, I was kind of, <laughs> as I mentioned, then knight g5 and then bishop h3 actually works. Pawn takes queen g5, yeah. And here, I mean, it, it takes, it doesn't, doesn't take a lot of imagination eh, to, to, <laughs> to, 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 uh, to see that this works, yeah. I'm attacking with those two and it's got no defense. Okay. Yeah, so bishop f5 was lame. I mean, as I mentioned, I played in a very technical fashion, but I mean, black is just like, if you're here, and the engine wants to go b5, but like, if you're here, you get to a position that you really, really, really not you cannot lose it. It's really not possible. You're just playing a free roll for a win. Yeah, the knight covers b7. The whole queen side is one unit for black. Let's say that's never going to be attacked. 
and you're playing on the dark squares and you you grind this forever it's just it's a complete free roll you can only lose if you blunder a piece or something but not by any any normal means and um i felt it was very accommodating that he that he traded queens i think queen d4 is certainly better yeah and this is this is again very one-sided and um yeah as you see the engine gives me roughly a pawn 0 0.8 it's and and only probably with very precise defense he's able to limit it to that and now we are we are already approaching more i guess yeah 0 0.7 and so on yeah I, my idea is simply knight a4 c4 b4 if i can get it in and um yeah what is he going to do about it not much eh? or i can actually take i mean like here b4 will win this is the same as in the game basically i will get a passer and win this but he can probably also take i probably would have played before it's just easier to play you do this you go here and you have the same as in the game probably with one or two moves down but it doesn't change the whole thing yeah yeah this is very straightforward and now he cannot stop b3 now this is much much easier than b3 immediately here he can yeah well he's not surviving this either of course eh? the pawn is too strong but this is very very clean this next and then you promote yeah those gambit lines you need to be ready for them for example like taking here and going into into this is not advisable if you don't know absolutely everything um i have i've looked at it briefly when i recently studied the whole opening complex and it looked a bit scary for black <laughs> to to go into without having everything worked out okay guys thanks for watching